Aries, welcome to your reading. Hope you're doing well. Today, I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. Right now, you got the Emperor and the Five of Wands. Where your higher self was telling you that you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself lately. And this extra pressure is causing resistance where resist persists. And right now, source is telling you to clear this energy. So, for example, the mind is always eavesdropping on what you have to say. When you're hard on yourself, when you're saying, I should have did this, I should have done that, or why did I do this? All of that is like casting a spell, right? And it's just self-sabotaging. It goes into your subconscious mind. And that's when your body language changes, your tone changes, your point of attraction changes, law of attraction. And right now, source is telling you to not put this pressure on yourself. Your higher self is telling you it's actually causing more you know, harm than good. And right now, to clear this energy. And clearing this energy is very sustainable. Clearing this energy is not difficult at all. All you got to do is remember one thing. When you are vibing when you are doing you when you are you know caught up and and, and just kind of just being your genuine authentic self when you're feeling yourself feeling really good you know there's no pressure like for example i'll give you an example would you rather play a game and win the game and put a lot of pressure on yourself and make it you know very grueling or would you rather play a game and have fun and at the end of the day, when you have fun, you're going to get better at what you do. Like, for example, say if you're playing basketball, right? Like, if you're putting pressure on yourself, making that hoop, it's, you're going to miss. But if you're just, like, breathing in, visualizing it, going in, and then taking the shot, swish. And that's how life is. Source is telling you right now, the more that you are just doing you, shining, the more you have that full energy, the more that you're just going with the flow, taking it easy, the more that you're in alignment and then action second, which is the formula, the easier your life will get, right? And that's what it comes down to effortless life. You want your life to be, you want to be flowing in alignment. You want to be grounded, intuitive. And right now, Source is telling you that when you are aligning yourself with a prosperity, you will track positivity and you're so close to it. I see big, significant changes happening for you, but that extra pressure that being, you know, that, that kind of, you know, just trying to like, you know, uh, control reality rather than take possession of it, is the resistance portion that has to get cleared. Once that's done, you'll be very decisive and things will get effortless for you. Now, you got the Two of Wands, and you also have the Two of Cups. And this right here is letting you know that there's a decision that you have to make very soon here regarding a relationship. Now, this relationship could be a friendship, romantic relationship, or a business partnership. That Two of Cups can mean anything, but it's a very strong bond. And I do see here right now that there's a decisive energy needed in order for you to make a decision regarding this. So maybe right now you have a friend that you're having, you want to have a conversation with, or you have someone that's piqued your interest and you're deciding whether or not to ask them out or whether they're going to ask you out. And right now, Source is telling you that in order for things to start flowing the way they should, in order for them to, in order for everything to just fall into place, the more confident you are, the more, you know, you know what you're looking for, the easier it is for the universe to give it to you. And I'll give an example. Like imagine walking into a restaurant and you're like, hey, I would like some food. And they're like, what type of food? You're like, I don't know, any type. They're like, is it a salad? Is it Chinese food? Is it pasta? You know, you got to give us something here. And that's the same thing. Like when you are confident, you are really just, just, it's just you have your superpowers, right? Because you, you can't make a wrong decision. Even the wrong decision turns into the right decision when you're confident, when you when you believe in it. Your point of attraction is powerful. And I do see here with that knight and three of swords that the only reason that there's no confidence here, maybe you're having a hard time, you know, asking yourself whether or not you want to ask your boss for promotion. You're worried about them, you know, getting upset or you want to, you know, tell your spouse, hey, I didn't sign up for this, but you're worried about them not taking it the right way. Anytime there's this lack of confidence, it's only one thing, guys. Confidence is knowledge, right? Knowledge is confidence. And that's what it comes down to. Like, for example, like I would be fearless when it comes to asking, you know, a superior for a promotion because I would do it in a cool, calm manner. I'd be confident. 
And I'm like, listen, I'm not going to upset this person if I kind of am lighthearted. So if I walk in there like, hey, how's your weekend? How was it? Was it good? All right, fantastic. Just want to let you know this company is amazing. I'm going to be here forever. I want to be. Now, you know, a little, little, little promotion here would raise team morale. Wink, 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 TGIF. Do you know what I mean? Just kind of lighthearted, silly, fun, opposed to serious. Because it's only serious if you make it serious, right? It's only, like Alicia and I, we always say, it's only weird if you make it weird. You know what I mean? So you're good to go. Now, very interesting, at the hangman and justice. This is about data collection. Right now, your angels are telling you that the more data you collect, the more your reality, which is a reflection of your dominant vibration, will match your objective. So right now, this is experiences. And like your thoughts create your emotions confirmed. So experiencing based off progress and not perfection is the way to do so. So for example, like you want to start a business, but you're worried about failure. That's because you're trying to be perfect. You want to ask someone in the date, but you're worried about rejection. That's because you're trying to be perfect. If you strive for progress, you tell yourself, listen, no matter what happens, I'm winning anyway. You know why? Because I'm collecting data. I know what to say next time. I know how to act. I know what to do. Without data, we have nothing. But with data, we have everything. And when you look at it from that perspective, now you're fearless and bold because you're not really worried about the objective, but more the, the journey or the process. And now everything will get easy. Now, you got the Six of Wands and the Hierophant. This is your higher self telling you that victory is close by and tapping into that fifth dimensional energy using your visualization skills, your meditative skills, your journaling skills. This is going to bring it home. This is the home run right here. And you are a magnet, so track wisely because abundance will flow to where appreciation goes. And that's what it comes down to. When you are, you know, grateful, appreciative, when you have an internal state that's cultivated of happiness, you know, abundance will flow to it because abundance is attracted to it. It's attracted to appreciation. So when you're visualizing, for example, you know, on the beach, you know, uh, salsa dancing with your partner, when you're visualizing, you know, walking into a brand new mansion, 20,000 square foot home that you purchased, and you're not putting any limiting beliefs on it, like, I'm not in this tax bracket, how would this ever happen? Just visualizing for the sake of visualizing, having fun. When you're grateful and appreciative to do that, now abundance will come to you, because law of attraction, remember, abundance, money, love, people, they're always attracted to excitement, fun, joy, bliss, and if they're not excited to serious, realistic energy, no one wants that right so right now i do see here with the tower that a lesson a test that spirit wants is for you to let go of the how and focus on the why because then you'll actually radiate the energy you want to attract so what does that mean don't tell yourself how am i going to meet my soulmate how am i going to get rich don't do that right just just focus on the why why do you want to meet your soulmate you want to meet your soulmate because you want to have experiences you want to try ice cream with them and tell them wow isn't this amazing you want to look at the sunset you want to watch a movie laugh you want to kiss make love why do you want to be rich because you want to have freedom freedom to choose yes i will come to work today no, I'm not going to come. I retire. Freedom. But when you focus on the why, you have this energy, this feeling about you. And that's what the magnetic energy is that will attract one of those infinite realities to you. But whenever the how comes into play, then you're trying to overthink that logical mind. And then that causes resistance. So focusing on the why is the formula. All right. Now time for your affirmation. If you want to get some money and love into your life, all you got to do is write your affirmation in the comment section. So spirit, you're the cause and effect. You're doing stuff. This is your offering. And this is exactly how you quantum entangle with your birthright. So in the comment section, write this down. I love this one. I do not cheat on my future with my past. This is you acknowledging your power is in the present moment, the predictable future, or the, uh, uh, what's it called? The, uh, um, uh, excuse me, the, the familiar past is the familiar past basically leads to a predictable future. You don't want either or, because that's depression or anxiety. What you want is the vision of the future, the story of the future, not the predictable future. Trust me on that. So my I do not cheat on my future with my past. One more time, let's see, third time's a charm. I do not cheat on my future with my past. Write that down in the comment section. Give this video a like. Let spirit know right now your point of attraction is the present moment, and you've learned this lesson, and you welcome abundance in your life. All right, now final message from your spirit guides. There isn't a soul on the planet who doesn't crave your approval. Loving that. So the only difference between a friend and a foe is that you've decided where love can grow. What does this mean? Perspective. That's all it is, right? It's all perspective. Life is perspective. At the end of the day, you have two different people. You have, you know, Bob and Bill. Now, Bob believes in the law of attraction, believes in positive thinking, believes that, you know, karma and good energy... 
Bob's life is going to be effortless. Now you have, say, Bill. Now, Bill might just say this is baloney, hocus pocus. I could be negative and attract abundance. It won't work. So that's why it's all perspective. You know, it's, it's for example, it's sunny outside. You might be like, wow, what beautiful sun. Where someone who's, who's, who doesn't believe in this stuff might be like, oh, it's too hot. Or it might be raining outside. You might be like, wow, it's going to be luscious and green. Where the other one's like, it's wet. But it's all perspective. Everything is happening for you, not to you. Life is a blessing and not a curse. And your glass is half full and not half empty. All right, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I appreciate you. Till next time, chat soon.